Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing a really colorful slimline Christmas card using the Frosty Fairy Friends from Lonfon. So first of all I laid out my card design and I am going to stamp my first stamps out at the house you can see that I am stamping out those lights. Uh, I'm doing it first and I will be doing some masking because I want to make a one layer card. So I'm stamping out my images with Gina K Design and Malcolm Ink on Nina 110. And after I've done that, I am going to create some masks. Therefore, I'm using some full stick post-it notes, which I'm cutting down here to get them in place. And then I'm just stamping these images once more so that I can cut these out, adhere them. And then I can also stamp out that house so that I can afterwards start on my background. So here I'm fussy cutting these images and it's been a while that I've done that. Uh, but these images really are easy to cut out. So if you want to make a one layer card, um, these are perfect for that. And as you can see here, I'm already placing them there where I stamp them out um, so that I have my moss in place. For the light bulbs it's really important because I need to stamp the house on top of it and I don't want the house to cover any of the light bulbs. Um, that was a bit fiddling but in the end no worries, uh, it worked out fine. Now everything is cut out and I am placing my final mask and then I decided that I wanted that house and that one ferry to be on top of a snowy hill. So I took my drift and hills uh, from my favorite things, it's a stencil, but I decided to trace this hill on top of some Inkadinkadoo stamping mask paper 
and cut it out with my scissors. And this will be my final mask to get my snowy hill going. So I'm placing that on the bottom and then I will start in blending. So for this card I decided to use Distress Oxide inks because they are really forgiving and if you blend something too much or too far you can go over with the other ink and it will cover most parts of that error. Um, so for this background I am doing a rainbow. The colors that I'm using are Festive Berries, Cough Pumpkin, Mustard Seeds, I will also be using Twisted Citron, but I started with Crushed Olives, you will see it uh, in a few seconds. There is also Peacock Feathers and Picked Raspberry. So I'm starting with my red on the top and I want to have this rainbow in an angle. And then I will continue with my oranges, yellows, greens, blues and in the end also purple. For my fairies I wanted to give them a sort of a glow around them and I actually wanted to have the glow in the color that is right below the rainbow color that is the fairy situated in. So this fairy is in the orange and below orange is yellow so I did a yellow glow and then my second fairy in the air will be in partially in orange but also in yellow so I wanted the glow to be partially yellow and green. Um, if I would remake this card I would just give it all the yellow glow. Um, I think I didn't think that the green was that uh, spectacular um, but seeing the completed card I was quite happy with it though. So I hope that my explanation was was clear. Um, but there where you see the green, there will be the yellow background behind. Um, and where you see yellow, there will be orange behind. So I have my rainbow colored background still with the glow. So for the rest of the ink blending, I will be putting on some music and I will be back afterwards.
Having the ink blending finished, I am splattering some liquid stardust from Lanfon on top of my background, as well as some designer gouache permanent white from Windsor and Newton. And now I can peel off all the masks, those who aren't infected by all the water of the liquid stardust and such, those I am keeping, which is mostly in this case the light globes from the house because they were covered by the house itself, um, and that I am keeping on the back of my stamp set so that I can reuse it uh, next time that I am masking these images. And then it's time to color everything in. So for the coloring I am using my Copic markers and I will be putting the caps on the side so that you can see which colors I am using. For the images I will also be adding some white jelly roll pen uh, to add some details. And for the rest I will be putting on some music while I am coloring in all these images.
Okay, so now my panel is ready. So I have my card base here and I'm going to score it and adhere my whole card panel on top of it. I am adhering it flat on top of my card base using my permanent print adhesive roller and then I can add some finishing details to my card. So the finishing details are some glitter with my Wink of Stella glitter pen, those I'm adding to the wings. I will also be using some glossy accents and of course some stickles diamonds because there are some snowy elements on the dresses and then this card will be finished. So this card is really <laughs> a special Christmas card because normally I would go for more um, standard colors uh, but I really like this rainbow uh, background. Um, it also fits the spectacular skies from the Long Fanet Exchange number 75. So if I am in time with editing I will be uploading this for the challenge as well and who knows. So I hope that you like this card design, that you like the rainbow background. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, I'm really grateful for you all to stop by and taking the time to watch this video. And I'm hoping to see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.